Guy. What up everybody, Alfie here, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup, and this is a review for the film Hashtag Alive. Hashtag Alive is the newest Netflix, not, I don't think it's an original film, but it's a horror film that is available on Netflix, and this film is directed by Il Shao, and this film is starring Ah In Yo, Sin Hyo Park and Hun Wook Lee and yeah it's a South Korean uh, horror flick and uh, yeah I probably butchered the name <laughs> but I'm not that good when it comes to pronouncing uh, Korean names but I'm a huge fan of Korean horror flicks so what is this film about? The plot of the film is about a gamer who pretty much uh, broadcasts his gaming on like Twitch. He becomes the sole survivor on uh, a rapid spread of infection that left that's leaving his city uh, on chaos. This gamer has to survive on his apartment now. So yeah, that is the plot. Um, let me just say that I enjoy this film. Do I think this film is great? No. Do I think this film is bad? No. I think this film is an enjoyable film that would pretty much... You will have fun watching this. Let me just say the stuff that I really enjoy. The first thing I gotta give kudos is the makeup on the zombies. It is really, really good. It's on the same level as Train to Busan and The Walking Dead. Like, the zombies looks really menacing and looks really really scary it was a couple of scenes i'm like wow this is really really good and i probably think that they put a lot of money and budget to that so to me they really perfected by getting the zombies to look really really scary and sick and that is just really, really good it's one scene when a cop pretty much gets ripped to shred and next scene you see her as a zombie and it was like wow just to see that makeup kudos to that and the direction i think that the direction is pretty much it's decent i don't think it's that really it's not really good it's not bad but it's decent it sets off the world even though the world is in his city by having that restriction i think that it feels more scary that the atmosphere is pretty much set by the beginning of the film the acting is uh, i think the main protagonist the guy i don't think that he's that good but he still is pretty decent i think that the m biggest plus is when the other character the girl comes in by the end of the first act she pretty much saved the film because you know it's not that the acting from the guy is bad i think that the writing uh, of the guy the main protagonist is just so bad like i know that you they wanted to build this character and build that evolution from being a coward to a survivor because this guy by the beginning of the film he don't have any survival instincts at all i have to root for him for an hour and a half oh jesus christ it took it was really really hard it was a drag really enjoying <laughs> this film because of this main protagonist because he's not likable uh, but by the end of the film the third act he be you know he became an awesome character and I was like good good job a little bit even though I, I, I applause that they gave him the conclusion I think that it was a little bit too late also I don't gotta say the acting from him was bad I, I'll take that back I think the character was bad but Still, the acting overall was good. What else? Uh, the scares is really good. It doesn't have a lot of gore. It's not a lot of blood. It relies so much more on the sound and the atmosphere and the feeling of just being just being by yourself. And it has a lot of claustrophobic scenes that will just make you scary. It, it, it involves... One of my favorite scenes of the film is involving uh, the girl and a zombie in a baby room. That scene is, to me, one of the most effective scenes of this year. It, it's on the same level as Uncut Gem. I was just on my edge of my seat. It's an enjoyable film. I think that you guys will like it. But I have to talk about the flaws also. You know, it has a lot of flaws. I think the biggest flaws of this film is that this film has a lot of plot holes. A lot of plot holes. And I don't think that they gave a great uh, resolution 
of those plot holes so they have to in a way do a sequel another thing is that like i said protagonist he's not that likable so a lot of people will have a hard time liking and rooting for this person like i wanted this guy to die within 30 minutes and also the zombie lore overall is just a little bit confused <laughs> uh the zombies weakness is like is all over the place uh, are they sensitive to lights are they sensitive to sound like what is it uh it just doesn't make any sense at the same time you know that zombie dies if you hit him in the head in this film they hit him on the stomach and they are dead so i just don't understand what they were trying to do with the zombies uh overall i don't think that they really nailed down the lore when it comes to the zombie animal. and the last thing is that this film reminds me so much of a french film called the night ate the world that came out i think three years ago that film is really good i think that film is so much better so i was comparing that film to this film so much i think that they had that film as an inspiration or probably they just did a remake because this film is so much alike that film so i would recommend you guys to see the original french film instead because that film overall has a likable protagonist and makes a great job by evolving the city also as yeah in chaos i enjoy this film i think it's an enjoyable film and one of the better films on netflix and i still recommend you guys to see this film and is it on the same level as trade to busan no is it on the same level as uh, peninsula yeah yeah i would say it is so my rating of hashtag alive i would give hashtag alive 2.7 out of 5 i enjoy this film i think that it has some stuff that is pretty much a gimmick i still think that this film is so much enjoyable it's a, a really 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 good zombie and the girl that comes in this film by the end of the first act she is so much likable like i really enjoy her i think that she is the highlight of the film like she is awesome and the zombie makeup great really 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 great my god like i was just so impressed of how the makeup how they nailed it man but if you've seen the original film the night ate the world i think that you would probably compare like i did and think that the original one is so much better but i still think that you gotta give this film a chance because this is a friday night popcorn flick you probably want to see alone or with a friend who likes zombie genre as you do so yeah see it man see it 2.7 out of 5 for hashtag alive anyways guys what do you think about hashtag alive do you like it do you not like it write your comments down below and let me know and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so every time i upload a new video you'll be the first to see it my name is alfie aka random black guy aka chocolate face no makeup and that was my review for the film hashtag alive until next time guys i'm giving you out there peace random black guy.